Well. <laughs> I'm quite sure how to start this. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to start this. This is... A surprising turn of events. Yes. Um... So, about a month ago, we got contacted by Vertebrate Publishing, Publishers, and invited to do an interview with Pete Whittaker about his new book, Crack Climbing. Um, so that's where we're going. So we're actually we're actually going to the crack climbing cellar, like where it all started. I, I remember watching the original Wide Boys film, seeing the seeing Pete and Tom in the cellar training away, it's being so inspired. And now we're going there. Alright, let's see if we can find the place. This is the width that we're going to use, um, and to climb this, mm -hmm. then we're going to use hand fist stack. Maybe for you, you might you might have to use fist fist. For you, you you can use hand fist. Yeah. Um, so you're going to want to put your palm towards you mm -hmm. against this wall, uh, doing like hand jamming technique, so like this and this, and then uh, fist jam behind like this. Okay. Yeah, and you want to uh, rest the knuckles here into the indentation here okay yeah yeah and then you you're squeezing the fist and doing your hand jam at the same time so you, you're putting them in like setting it up like this mm -hmm. and then squeezing at the same time and that's going to be a hand fist stack and then with your feet twisting your feet so that part of your foot is against the back mm -hmm. and that part of your toe, so you're just camming okay. it like that. Okay. Yeah, and then stick on both feet up. <laughs> like that. Yep. And then you can hang and then put your um your hand put fist there. Up. Yeah. Okay. And then you want to so say if I'm moving to the right, mm -hmm. you want to hold with your leg and your your hand and your fist and then just move your leg. Okay. And then hold with your legs and you can also sort of Undercut the crack to hold you, hold your body up. Reset your stack, <laughs> and then move your legs. <laughs> so you're sort of like crabbing, okay. crabbing across the roof. Uh, okay. That's how you move. Yeah. 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 And then roll onto your shoulders. That's it. And then probably push up on your arms. Yeah. There you go. Push the feet in as far as you can go. Yes, there. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's, right. that's looking good, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And get this leg a little bit further in as well. Yeah. I guess a good way to start. You can you could just pinch like this to start. <laughs> or, or hand jam in here. Okay. Yeah. Maybe it's really good. It could be a bit big. <laughs> the double stack. Oh uh, angle shuffle. I'd be left, you've got more space. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there you go. <laughs> yeah, left leg. Shuffle it. Yeah. <laughs> Get the crimps. <laughs> oh my gosh. But that's how you. That's the general uh, general way of doing it. Oh. <laughs> do you have to place it behind you, or do you yeah. still place in front of you and then uh, well sort of bypass the gear? Yeah, if you place it in front of you, then you have to step round it. Yeah. So it's just better to place it just, just behind you. As you keep moving, yeah. 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 Uh huh. Use that cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Stick your legs in a bit further. Yeah. Try and get the edge of the crack sort of like just below your knee. Just below your knee. Yeah. 
Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, the the yeah, further yeah. you get in, the less you have to sit up. <laughs> <laughs> Like at least a foot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smash it. <laughs> Try with the uh, stack in the middle. So you want your palm palm facing towards you. Yep. Yep. And then fist, fist behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so my hand was big there. Yeah, you see, I, had the, the, I had the hand flat and it wasn't it wasn't really yeah, quite yeah, yeah. wide enough. Okay, yeah. yeah, thumb in. But do it, so put your hand in like I always set my hand like that, and yeah. then do this. So I s set it, and then I ha and then I do the jam with both okay. at the same time. There you go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> right. Should we try some of the other ones? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Moving on. Go moving on. on swiftly. So with this one, I would go uh, fingers sort of straight up, and, yeah. you, and you might want to twist the hand again. Sort of rotate the hand in, yeah, or rotate the hand in like that. Yeah. But you're aiming to get, you want to get as much of this part of your hand in as possible. Like okay. The the, the, the big thumb. yeah fleshy part, fleshy part. Yeah. Fleshy part. And then uh, when it's in the crack, I I sometimes actually often go for a little, like slightly crimping. Like, okay. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Uh, and then tucking the thumb <coughs> in like that. Then uh, can you see that? Like Which with the thumb, yeah. Uh, the finger with the index oh, finger yeah. there. Yeah. Sort of slightly crimping, and then you can put the thumb in like yeah. that. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> a cheeky crimping as well. Yeah. 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 That's good with the feet. Yes. Yeah. Nice work. <laughs> I, don't I, know. Know. I would actually I didn't get the um, rotation on that hand. That's I would actually uh, shuffle my hands. Shuffle. Yeah, yeah. See see how that is. Yes! There you go. Yes. Nice. Nice. Keep moving the hands. Yeah. I reckon one more shuffle with the hands. Yeah. Maybe now step a foot in. Yeah, good. Yes, nice come on. Dave. Come on. Yeah, keep the foot in there and move the hands again, maybe. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> <nice. laughs> that was good. It's not too bad when you can set your hands. Yeah, it's nice when you can. And then. I'm good when you have time to set the hands. Yeah. That's the, I mean, that's the, that's the kind of key as well, being able to set your hands right. Um, You're sort of jamming, jabbing it in quickly to try and grab something. Or was yeah, if you're jabbing it in, that's yeah. when it all starts to go a bit wrong. Yeah, go on. Come on. Come on, Brett. Yes. And again. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah, and again. Go on. Yeah, go on. Yes. Come on. Come on, match in. Yes. Can you bring one foot across? Come on. Go a little bit further than the hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Brad. Yes. Come on. Yeah, nice. Yeah, in here, in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold this in. Yeah. Well, I wasn't sure what you were this meaning. Is, this big... is a nice big air pocket. Uh, in there? <laughs> no, I meant in here. That's better. That was good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, it's definitely got a little bit more like crimping that top yeah, hand in a bit more. Yeah, yeah. In a bit more that time. Yeah. Gave a little bit more. Yeah. Good. It's weirdly addictive. <laughs> I find. Like, yeah. It's kind of like, oh, it really hurts. <laughs> I'll get another half centimetre. <laughs> I think with crack climbing, the first bit is down to technique and getting the techniques right. Yeah. Um, and then when you've got the techniques right, and especially when you're on terrain like this, then it comes a bit more down to like fitness and strength. 
but initially it's like techniques I think. Do you end up with like a bad back? <laughs> oh yeah, just from like, like walking <laughs> around like this. <laughs> Yeah. No, you're alright actually, yeah, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've actually got a full head clearance. <laughs> I need to realise that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. I mean, it's, yeah, it's close, soft. but... It's soft, yeah, it's soft. Either, yeah. yeah, padding. It's been taken off due to plumbing work. <laughs> oh, that that nice oh, that felt Jesus. a bit, felt a bit brutal. <laughs> oh, eight B warm up. Yeah. Not, not quite. The end oh. wasn't on. The end wasn't on. Yeah, you're a whole what meter oh, short. Yeah, I was a meter short. <laughs> there used to be another hand crack there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that feels hard. So somebody's asked why crack climbing as opposed to just bouldering or sport climbing or sort of like more generic forms of climbing, I guess. Yeah. I guess you can do crack climbing, bouldering and sport climbing. Well, yeah. yeah, you can, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, why crack climbing? I think, I, I guess one of the reasons why I like crack climbing is uh, because, I said it before, but it's like very technical um, and 
I wouldn't say I'm like the strongest person ever, but I, like I was saying, I sort of like like to work things out and like learn mm. things. Yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, crack climbing it. It's a sort of genre of climbing that lends itself to that. Yeah. Was, should sport and border competitions include more cracks? Should they? Yeah. Of course they should. <laughs> yeah. Of course they should. I was thinking like competition climbers, like to be the best, you should be the most well-rounded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and like they have all these runny, jumpy problems. They have dinos, they have crimping, slopers, like big moves, small moves, slabs, technical. It's like, where are the cracks? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, they should definitely be included in them because uh, it makes you a more rounded climber mm. and that's the best climber. Yeah. And that's what they're trying to be, the best climber. Uh, so one of the viewers uh, asked, he's only got six hours, what's he got? Six hours a week. Six hours a week. Yes. Um, and he's to dedicate to sort of climbing training. And he's saying, is it better to have like two really long, hard sessions or lots of short, sharp se sessions spread out this throughout the week? This is just a general training question. Yeah. I think yeah. So, yeah. General training question. Okay. I would say... Um, like if you've got warm up time in there, then it's better to have shorter, sharper sessions. I think, yeah, I, I think uh, shorter, sure. shorter and Lots. sharper because then it's like concentrated. You mm -hmm. focus for that hour and a half or whatever it might be. Yeah. Um, and you get it done and you complete it. Whereas if it's like a two, three hour sessions, uh, then you know after two hours, actually the last hour. Is less productive. Is less productive. Okay. Yeah. It's like a working day, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like wants the, to go home. Yeah, everybody wants to go home and like who does anything in the last hour. <laughs> Can you recommend a good crack in the E four ish range? Something like Wellington Crack at Ilkley. Okay. Yeah, that's a good E four. Ah, fear of infection as well. Okay. <laughs> Where's that? <laughs> that's in uh, Lamberis Pass. Okay. okay. Uh, and that's an off width, E four off width. Uh, but I th I thought it was a um, like pretty mellow for E4, okay. even though it was an off width as well. Yeah, like you don't have to you don't have to work too hard. Uh, what's the best crack you've ever climbed in the UK? Maybe like Ray's Roof is actually pretty good. Really short. Okay. Uh, it's like an E7 over at um, in Staffordshire. What is your favourite fruit and vegetable? <laughs> favourite fruit and vegetable. <laughs> Berries, probably. They're, they're like yeah. sweeties, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you just... Yeah, like a box of raspberries or yeah, something. Yeah. It's just like you can demolish it like a bag of Haribo. <laughs> uh, vegetables. What vegetables do I usually eat? Mm. I don't know if it's my favourite, but I always buy peppers. I mean, you can put pepper in mm. anything, can't you? Yeah. 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 I don't think it's like That's my favourite, but it's my most mm. used. Uh, have you ever had any... Injuries and what did you do? How did you overcome those? I've never had like um, injuries where it's been like bang injury. I've definitely had tweaks and niggles and like little tears and stuff. Well, for me, maybe I just know I know my body quite well, so I know what feels bad and I yeah. know when I should take a step back and I know when it's like ah, okay, that was something, but I can probably still keep climbing as long as, I'm, as long as I'm just wary of it mm -hmm. um, I think yeah the main thing is just to be like know your body and sort of monitor it to how other things have felt um, and then yeah just uh, be wary don't overcook it I never overcook it <laughs> like when when you do feel something um, yeah. ketchup or brown sauce on a sausage <laughs> sandwich <laughs> uh, ketchup, ketchup. Yeah. if you could only climb at one crag for the rest of your life which one would it be? Uh, probably El Cap. El Cap. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's big and there's plenty to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like to run out of stuff. On yeah. There. Yeah. 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 Uh, most memorable crack experience? When me and Tom were climbing this uh, this long horizontal roof in Canyonlands, uh, it was like 100 meter pitch, and we only had an 80 meter rope. Um, <laughs> as you do. <laughs> yeah. 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 We didn't have a 100 meter rope, so we had to stash a rope in. Um, in the middle of the route. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to do a rope swap in the middle. Yeah. Um, and this isn't actually my memory. Well, it's a memorable crack experience, not me climbing though. Uh, and then Tom uh, went first and he got to, what, five metres away from the rope and then I ran out of rope at my end. Yeah. So I had to, 
<laughs> I had to take him off Beale, and then he basically had to solo to the That's rope crazy. that was stashed <laughs> stashed in the crack, and then tie into that, and then our other friend at the other side belayed him to the end. That was quite memorable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It... So obviously you did recovery drink pretty recently. Mm. Congrats on that. Yeah, uh, what's like the next thing then? What's the next big project? Um, what's the next thing you're working towards? Uh, project wise, I have. Um, I actually have some sort of like alpine, alpiney type projects. Okay, yeah. Uh, with some friends, Matt and John. Um, so I should be doing some stuff later in the year with that. We might be going, well, we hope we're hopefully going to like Himalayas. Um, so that should be interesting, sort of new, yeah, a new experience. I've never done anything like that before. Uh, but I sort of hope the objective that we're going to do is um, uh, it's got like rock climbing on and it has like mix climbing on. So they're the sort of like mix climbing like yeah. rope guns and then hopefully I can bring like the more rock climby okay. crack climby side things to the So high altitude crack climbing. Yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In terms of non climbing projects is um uh the wide boys business. Uh so like keep pushing on with that. Yeah. Uh and bringing crack climbing to the to the masses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did your finger strength training translate well into the book signings? But uh, the key the key to lots of signing is just don't press the pen too hard. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's don't overgrip. Yeah, don't overgrip. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, same as climbing like, you know, just Relax the right amount of it, pressure yeah. uh, for maximum efficiency. <laughs> so, that's what you want when you're signing lots of books. Just the right amount to make it look like a signature and make people feel happy, but so you don't injure it. Uh, that was. That was gnarly. It's that hard. Was, it's it? so hard. Like you watch the videos of them doing it, and they just sort of they cruise it, cruise along, and then you try and do it, and just just trying to get your hands to stick in there. Yeah. It's been a long time since I felt bad at climbing. That bad at climbing. <laughs> yeah. It's normally it's like, like you, you do something. You're like. Oh yeah, yeah. My shoulder strength is down. Mm, my forearm and endurance is down. I could, yeah, I got to work on that. But that was like, I don't have anti gravity. <laughs> so yeah, it uses loads of different muscles that clearly we're not very used yeah. to using. But it's just, it's addictive though. It was quite. I find crack addictive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was because you sort of. You get in it, you're like, oh, I can hold the position, I can hold the position. Maybe I can move, I can't move. And then you try it again, you're like, oh, I can move a little bit. And then you're like, oh no. And then the next time, <laughs> you just keep wanting to go like a little bit. A little bit a more. A little bit more each time. But yeah. Yeah, yeah Pete was really nice. Oh yeah, Pete. It's a good sport for... Yeah, he's... <laughs> <all> these questions. <laughs> trying, to, uh, trying to help us <laughs> through that crack. It's quite... I think it's kind of nice, well I say nice in some ways, but to be right back at the beginner level, it's been so long since, we've been climbing for so long and we started so long ago that you often sort of forget what it's like to be a complete beginner at, find, yeah. at doing something like that, so to be right back at square one. Not even like comprehending I think any of the movements, it's it's like right how do you, how do you move, a lot of the time we can see how you're supposed to do it because yeah. we're used to climbing like that, but that was so different. Yeah, I'm quite psyched for, for crap fest though. You might have to try and do a bit more training before that. I'm up for fancy dress too. <laughs> well, you can do that. <laughs> well, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed seeing us floundering around in uh, Tom and Pete's crack cellar. It was an unreal experience. It was an unreal experience, yeah. yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go and buy Pete's book. Go and buy Pete's book. Yeah, from Vertebrate Publishing. A link in the description. Also, if you haven't already, then subscribe, because we've got, we've got at least one more big interview in the pipeline, and hopefully a few more further yeah. down. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, yeah. catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.